M&A back on the front burner, coming up here on The Jog. Hi folks, Alex Klingelhafer here, Accenture Wealth Advisors. It is 9.30 here in the middle part of the country on Monday. It is December 12th, 2022. Here's your morning jog around the economic headlines of the world. I want to start off with Rivian nixing their deal with Mercedes-Benz. Now, Rivian said they would work with Mercedes-Benz to produce their vans in Europe, right? Mercedes-Benz trying to become yet another European car manufacturer that's going all electric, right? Rivian all electric car manufacturer seems to make sense except when the inflation reduction act came in a couple months ago and that meant if you're going to assemble electric cars and go ahead and supply them to americans you better build them into america for tax incentive reasons or being seeing the writing on the wall now concluding their agreement with mercedes-benz saying hey guys europea europe is just no longer a competitive place to produce cars and go forward basis this does not affect Mercedes-Benz too much. They're just too big of a player. But for Rivian, it really means scramble mode. We have to get production back into the U.S. at any cost. And quite frankly, that cost is just going higher and higher as they're not the only company going to be doing so on a go-forward basis. Let's talk about some deals here. Amgen buying Horizon Therapeutics. This is back to business as usual in medicine and that is a good thing we're seeing some normalization of the markets here right small company bought out by bigger company because of the drugs they have and the revenue streams it's not all covid centric and that means we're going to see additional deals in this space take place as executives now focus on what they do best in the healthcare space let's find the best drugs at the best prices and charge even higher prices to consumers quite frankly that's just the business model that exists on a go forward basis let's look at some deals in this space maybe we can start to see some innovative companies getting scooped up again at tremendous premiums and quite frankly tremendous prices to consumers last but not least where we we'll get you off to a nice week microsoft buying a four percent stake in london stock exchange 10-year cloud deal now here's the thing exchanges except fdx are tremendous business models it's all about staying in the game collecting tax collecting toll revenue from your participants now the great thing unlike toll roads there's not a ton of capex right all the capex on exchanges is really brand it's it's getting a wide enough moat so that no one wants to go anywhere else to do deals because they don't have the confidence in the counterparties exchanges like london stock exchange do not have that issue, right? That's why they tend to be really good investments over the long term, because they just pump out cash with relatively little input. That's high margins. That's a margin of safety. That's a moat. That's a good investment. Microsoft sees that and sees some additional synergies they can add to it. I like this deal. If you want some additional info throughout the week, feel free to find me on the internet. I'm out there. Till then, you, your family, have a really good rest of your Monday. I'm out.